What's up? This is HD News Stick here. So I'm going to talk about Windows 11. Apparently, um, it's out now, but you can't. I can't just upgrade to it because I don't have a PC that supports it. And you know, uh, the hardware of mine is from 2013, so it's really uh, it's kind of old. It's what I was able to get because they, there was no other computers and there wasn't a one that was within the price range of our budget of the house being redone for my parents to work on this house and then it being fair to have a computer. And um, I recently had to reset it because I guess the Windows, uh, whatever, um, it basically stopped burning um, images like where I could, I tried to burn like some images, like certain files. And it wouldn't deal within the Windows thing, so I had to reset the machine and then restore everything. And every now and then, Windows gets like that. It's always been like that for a lot of Windows OSs, previous to Windows 10. Windows 10 has been known to have trouble after so many months of being used. It's the registry. It's how it works. It's just how the system is. And I won't be getting Windows 11 anytime soon because my hardware doesn't support it. Even if they let people upgrade to it, I would not go because it is unstable at the moment. It's having trouble with AMD Ryzen machines because of the processor and how it is. And um, it's how it's made, made, built to handle like those new Intel uh, hybrid CPUs that have like four or so or like certain cores. They got like high cores for like high performance and then they got marble energy sync cores into one die and um that's what's causing a lot of issues with the software on amd ryzen machines running windows 11 and right now i believe it's a free upgrade i would have to literally get a new pc and um i mean it, it, most of them will work i know i'll see a lot of these refurbished ones for like windows 10 to be off the market within like four years because Windows 10 support doesn't end until 2025, I believe not October. So I got about four years with this desktop. It's a little better than it was. I mean, the last computer was. I mean, this one's a little better than the last one. It is i7. It will do basic tasks. I'm not a huge gamer all the time, but I'm more of a music video. And when I got Windows 8, I believe it was my first... Um, Walmart computer, it was horrible. It was literally crashing a lot. And that's why Windows 8 never did that good. They, for one, they removed aerial transparency. That's one of the things I noticed. As well as there was no start menu. And um, that OS will eventually be out of support earlier because it came earlier in the years. And uh, they did take away that FIP 3D and a lot of good features like the gadgets because some kind of mobility was discovered and they had to take it out of the system. They have they have an option to add gadgets, but it's not the style I like. I whether there is a program I can believe I can download. I know I already have it on the system, but it's the same gadgets as the Windows Seven, but it's a free free install program that has a lot of gadgets built into it and will run on any OS, including Windows 11 at the moment. So, um, that I have a CPU gauge, see where my you know, RAM and all, make sure I don't go over with the system because Windows 10 kind of hits performance issues depending. There's a lot of updates. I didn't even notice my machine updated all its software for the OS with overnight. I didn't even know until I checked the other day and it was already up to date. I was on the latest version. I believe there'll be a, every other version, every other year there'll be a newer version of Windows 10. And they'll eventually feed out Windows 8 and 8.1 because it was just horrible for them to get rid of those OS that make, make them like they were. They were based off touch um, tablets are based for that universal windows and I would rather not go back to that and one they ruined the nice look of the arrow and the glass and I would rather have the windows 7 look on my desktop because I just don't like windows 10's look and it's horrible at times and I wish a lot of people really want to mock software back but they don't listen 
They might have put back the glass effect, but it's not. It's more modern. It's not the old type where it was nice looking and it didn't really. In fact, I remember having more performance with the arrow because it, it seemed like it was slaggy without it. It seemed like, you know. But, uh, yeah, Microsoft eventually got rid of it. And uh, I think A still has a little bit of it, but not as much. And then I think 10 came out, they didn't even have it. They just took it away, and, and then they added it later, but it's different. Um, Windows 7 is one of my favorite OSs of all, even if it came out for Vista, when Vista was like completely fail for Microsoft when it, I wanted it myself, and I had a machine that could run it, but it was like low spec. It may be like a little over 2 gigahertz. 2 gigs of RAM, I could probably only go up to like 4 with that machine and um, it was slow at times and Vista was really unreliable and a lot of people didn't know that the programs in the Fire Explorer to launch videos was using more RAM to run those applications in the preview panels as well so you, they didn't know RAM was being used that Vista was hogging all the RAM it wasn't um, I rather preferred the 7 or Vista look Rather than the Windows 10 and 8 and 8.1 because uh, it might look good with Arrow, uh, with the uh, last effect, but 7 Vista is just the best. And that's when I, I think Vista came, when it, when it came out, it came with the first time with a backup where you could back up your Windows onto a DVD. I just did an image of it, I think, last night overnight and make sure that I can restore things and hopefully I'll find a way to restore the whole entire OS from a USB drive onto the computer again so I don't have to reset and reinstall all my programs like I had to just do. Luckily I had the files still on there. I kept I selected off to keep those files. I even had a backup in case I lost a hard drive and I had to replace it down the road. Of course out of the warranty part of it. If I had to send the machine back in of course I would have that backup, but you had to have a recovery boot up disk in order to use that. So I have a couple of those. I made a couple of those lately in the last 24 hours because I got paid and I just bought, you know, DVDs and uh storage thing to hold them in. So uh, yeah, if you make a USB, just make sure you make one as well for recovery because that comes in handy. For a lot of the machines, they don't have a disk drive basically, a physical. Um, DVD drive or Blu-ray. I know Blu-ray never really made it that much for PCs. I never had one, but, you know, I just had DVDs because that's what we have around here I can go and get. But Blu-ray is getting cheaper, I think. But, you know, it, DVDs are fine. It may take more storage to fill a hard drive. I had to have a backup, basically, of that OS, but a hard drive is fine. It just had to have a backup disk run the OS of course and then format the drive and restore the windows because I actually went the route of having it on the USB drive and installing the windows back from that rather than using my data on my internet plan through the internet company so I, so I won't have to download things and I'll try eventually to find a way to do that easier where I don't have to redo everything I did like I just did and it took maybe a couple days to do it and that's about it iTunes is back installed, and it seems to be more reliable now than it was. Sure, it's a refurbished machine. It's going to have issues, but that's what I have to deal with. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and comment like below. Thanks for watching. See ya.